Welcome, this is Creations. My name is Amber and I am here today with Shannon from Arts and Crafts. How are you doing, Shannon? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You guys got a lot of stuff going on over there, don't we you? We do. We do have a lot of holiday classes starting up um, this October. Um, I'm excited to see what you have for us. All right. Well, today we're going to show you two creations. Uh, the first one is a festive pumpkin and the next one some spooky spider webs. So, awesome. shall we get started? Sounds All good. Right. So, first thing, you want to get your supplies. Always the most important, right supplies make the right project. True. So first thing, dryer hose. Okay. Any dryer hose. Okay. Japanese, American. American. Yeah. Yeah, definitely American. Okay. Japanese a little too small, unless you want to okay. make little bitty pumpkins. Okay. But um, next you want to grab your scissors. Okay. Any old regular scissors? Yep. Plain okay. scissors to do the main cut, um, okay. but you'll definitely want some wire cutters to cut the metal. Now if you're using plastic, you might not need those, but Today we're using some metal, okay. so we're going to be using our wire cutters to okay. cut that. Uh, next is your glue. And that's, I like using the uh, hot glue gun. Okay. I use that for everything. So It's good glue. We carry it at crafty things. You can find yeah. it there. I've even reupholstered a couch with it, so wow, you can do anything. It's, cool. it's the best stuff. Um, next, you want your spray paint. Okay. I'm using spray paint. I find it's quicker, dries okay. faster. Um, but you guys have other paint too, right? Yep, you can use acrylic paint um, as long as you put a sealer over it. Make sure it doesn't wash off. You can use Mod Podge or a multi-purpose sealer. And we carry all that too at the awesome. store. Awesome. And that's a little more kid-friendly. Yeah. So if you want, you know, your kids to decorate a pumpkin. Yeah, sure is. More, more hands-on for them. Mm -hmm. And last is just the embellishments. Okay. Um, I got some paper. Okay. Love your scrapbooking paper. You guys always have the best array. Um, and then I got foliage. I right. guess is what you call it. Yeah. Um, just some leaves and uh, some little swirly cues. Yep. And then last are the stems, which are just sticks. Cool. And, uh, which we have an abundance of right yes, now. Yes. Just our lovely typhoon has has given us a wide array to choose from. So, perfect. Just go outside and grab yourself a couple sticks. And uh, shall we get started? Sure. All right. So first, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll measure out. I'm going to have you. Stick that in real okay. quick, get that heated, and uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to measure out um, the pumpkin size. Okay. Um, this is kind of an eyeball thing. There's no real science to it. Um, just something that looks like it'll be the size you want. I always cut a little extra. I figure you can always trim it off, yeah. but you can't add. It's very true. So, all right, I think that's about good. So. Okay. Have the scissors. Thank you. Yep. And we'll just go ahead and make a little cut. All right. And then we'll just cut it all the way around and make it look nice. And eventually you'll get to the other side that you started cutting on, and that's okay. where the wire cutters come in. Okay. And that you'll just go in. And this is, again, this is for the adults to do. And there you go. Awesome. And that is cut up. And we'll set that aside. Okay. And uh, here is your pumpkin. Awesome. So I'll let you start gluing that okay. together. Um, when she's done, this is what it looks like. So, I mean, you pretty much have a pumpkin at this point. It is um, so simple, so easy to do. Is our glue gun having issues? All right. That's good. Yeah. There we go. All right. And uh, just be careful. I mean, it is hot glue, so you'll want to be very gentle and careful not to burn yourself. Um, but yeah, when you're done, um, you'll have a nice little pumpkin shape. Um, if you don't feel like you got a good seal doing it that way, you can always put it around just the outside to get more. I mean, it dries clear okay. and you're going to be spray painting it so okay. it won't show up when you're done. Awesome. So now you get the last part, which is spray painting your pumpkin. Um, you want to go out to a very well ventilated area. Make sure maybe even to wear a mask. Okay. Um, if you're having the kids do it, just lay down paper towels as well or paper, newspaper, newspaper yeah. and you'll get uh, no big messes. <laughs> but uh, I want that. once you spray paint it, you get this. Cute. Um, I splattered a little bit of brown paint 
to give it um, a little bit of a dirtier look. Okay. Um, you could do white if you're doing like a white and black thing, uh, white and black theme, Halloween theme. Um, you could paint little triangles and get yourself a little jack o' lantern face. Um, Cut out like little pieces of paper, use it for Halloween. Yeah, and, and if, then take them off and use them for Thanksgiving. There you go. I like that. So, last, get your stem. Okay from our lovely sticks that we've had. Stick it into the convenient little hole. Perfect. And uh, grab all your little paper embellishments. Okay. And you'll just stick them in there. And when you're happy yeah. with the location and the positioning, you'll just give it a little dab of glue. Okay. And then you're done. And I mean, awesome. it's as simple as that. And that is, that is it. That's all you got. So if you, uh, didn't catch all of our supplies or the directions on how to do this, we're going to bring that up for you now. And when we get back, we'll show you how to do a spooky spider web. So stay tuned. Keepsakes are valuable mementos. So why not make your keepsake worth keeping at Keepsakes Plus? Our state-of-the-art laser engraving turns a drab black into a beautiful commemorative. On-staff artists can place your artwork or logo on just about anything. No job too big or too small. Make your keepsake a treasure at Keepsakes Plus in the Kadena Arts and Crafts Center. Can I help you? I need this framed. I need it done right. And I want it done fast. Welcome back. This is Creations. I'm here today with Shannon. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You having fun so far? I am. Thanks. All right. Well, this next project, we're going to show you how to make a spooky spider web. Ooh. I know. It's fun. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get our supplies. Okay. Okay. First one is wax paper. All right. Um, basic, simple. You can get it at the commissary, the exchange. Okay. They have it everywhere. So. Okay. Next, you want to get some tape. Okay. This is just so that you can tape down the edges. Um, wax paper has a tendency to roll up on you. Right. Um, and I like a nice working area where I don't have to worry about it moving around on me. Okay. Um, next is glue. Okay. This is simple, um, plain old Elmer's glue. Something that dries clear, something that you're not gonna have too much of a chemical or anything. It's okay. safe for kids to use. Okay. Um, next. You want to color your glue with some acrylic paint, or you can use some sparkles to put on top with just the clear glue. All right. So, and all this stuff. You can get at Crafty Things. Yes. Um, and an array of colors and varieties. Yeah, you guys, I had a hard time choosing. I bet. I did. <laughs> the first ones I did were orange and black. Oh, neat. And uh, so this time I went with uh, some purple paint cool. and some orange glitter. So. All right. Um, and then lastly, you're going to want a pen or pencil. Um, this is just to draw out your design okay. um, so that you have something to trace over. So okay. let's get started. All right. All right. So we're going to start with our wax paper. Okay. I'm going to give you your piece. Okay. I'm going to do one too because they're just, they're too much fun to resist. So I'll let you start. I'm going to tape it down. See, mine's already starting to roll up on me. So tape. Tape is very handy. All right, and once you get it taped down, um, I'm going to go ahead and glue mine, give you um, just kind of an idea of how to okay. do it and what it should look like. Okay. Um, and it's very simple, and the best part is that um, if you don't want to do spider webs, if you're wanting to do something maybe for Christmas, you could do snowflakes. Oh, yeah. Um, you could 
color your paint or your glue orange and you could make little jack-o-lanterns oh, um, make idea. little ghosts even I mean it's it's pretty much this is all a project you can do all year round exactly and it's so much fun for the kids I yeah. mean nice and messy they love paint um, I'm freehanding mine I've done a couple okay. so I feel pretty comfortable just kind of freehanding it yeah. but it's as simple as following the lines all the way around and you get kind of a really cool spiderweb design and it's so quick yeah you make it look very easy <laughs> I've made made so many of these they're so much fun awesome. and then once you're done you can just Beautiful. end your, your spot and, uh, and that's it okay. so I'll let you go ahead and uh, trace, trace out mine first. yours. Okay. So you guys have a lot of stuff going on at Arts and Crafts, don't you? We do. We have a lot of holiday classes happening. Um, we have a haunted house making class um, that's going to be on the 20th and the 27th of October. Um, that one's $18, all supplies included. Uh, we also have a paper mache bowl making class. Um, that one's twenty dollars. All supplies included will also be on the twentieth and the twenty seventh. Cool. You could also do maybe even like a pumpkin with the paper mache, yep. right? A pumpkin. Uh, cool. You could do a mask for your costume. They'll oh, have there a bunch you go. Of, Get some homemade costumes. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'll have right. you do purple. Okay. Cool. So there you go. Thank you. So you guys also have more classes, right? We do. We have um, a clay sculpture class. Um, that's going to be for five to nine-year-olds. That's going to be on the second Friday of October, I think is the 12th. Um, that class is $10. It's one session. We'll also have a haunted castle making class. Oh, that sounds like fun. Um, that'll be the last two Fridays of October. Um, it's 10 to 15 years old, two sessions, and it's um, $15. So a lot of very kid-friendly classes yes. going on. That's cool. Yep. This could definitely be something that the kids could do, too. Absolutely. I mean, this is... um, even this project, you know, really correlates with the classes we're offering. Perfect. You could make a spider web, put it on your haunted house. Yep. That'd be cool. All right. You're doing so good. See, it's so simple. It's it is so simple. simple. Anybody could do it. And that's the best part is that it's something that you don't have to have artistic skills. And if it looks a little messy, that just makes it look even creepier. So, yeah. all right. Awesome. So, you are finished. Cool. You got your color. Okay. So, I am going to get a little messy with mine and do glitter. Um, I don't like to color my paint or my glue. Um, and then do glitter on top. I think it's just too much. So I usually just do the plain glue and then the glitter on top. But all you want to do is very carefully cover all your glue. And don't worry, I have reused this glitter already on like three or four different spider webs. So a little goes a long way. Yeah, when you shake it off, you can always reuse it. Yeah, put it back That's in your... That's a good idea. Put it back in your little tube and use it for next time. Um, I've also found that putting glitter on these makes them a little bit more fragile. Okay. Um, they have a tendency to, to break a little more. So thicker lines, if you're going to do glitter, okay. I've found helps. Um, and there you go. I mean, it's pretty simple. Yeah. And uh, once you've covered it up thoroughly, you're going to want to set it aside for at least two days okay um, so that it it's nice and dry before trying to peel it off okay um, the glitter part leave it for a day um, and then you can shake off the glitter and then let it sit for another day so we're just gonna set these off to the side okay and there we go and then when you're done you have all of this like I said I went a little little spider web crazy. I did, I did, but I couldn't <laughs> help it. So here's a black one that I did, um, and you can see that it, it did break. Oh, okay. um, and they, they sometimes will, but that's okay, because okay. you can always use this one as a, uh, a table mat oh. or a placement. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it's broken. Exactly. And then here's an orange one. 
that I attempted to do a spider. Looks more like kind of a splat, but uh, that's the, the fun idea. part. That's the fun part is getting to be creative. Cute. And I, I actually do drew a few little lines in there. Okay. And then here's the ones in the purple and the orange. And I'll let you take that one. Okay. And I'll take this one. And this one here is a giant one that I did. Um, I got a little fancy. I taped two pieces of uh, wax paper together. Cool. And I just drew a giant one, drew some lines to give it wow. some stability. And then here's a little bitty orange one that I had fun with. as big or as small as exactly. you like. Exactly. So cool. once they're dry, okay. after your two days wait, um, the next part is going to be peeling it off. All right. So basically, you're just going to want to find an edge. And okay. you're just going to want to pop that up so that you can get that edge. Okay. I, I find sometimes it's easier if you flip it over, <clears throat> hold down the spider web okay. and just peel back oh, the wax really paper. Yeah. I mean, you just, you want to go slow. And once you get to one point, you can move on to another uh, little section of your spider web. And you're just going to pull it back and keep pulling. So do you guys have any other exciting things going on at Arts and Crafts? Um, we just got a lot of Halloween decor, um, decorating supplies in, so you'll need to come in and check all that out. Right. Sounds like fun. I am, Halloween's my favorite by far. Yeah. Like it is, I love to decorate, I love to dress up, um, and I, I'm definitely going to have to come in and check out, see what fun things you guys have going on. It's definitely the, the time of year class. to be more creative. Yes, it is. So sometimes you'll have the wax paper stick to your glue. Yeah, I had that. Um, yeah, and that's... It's going to go in the opposite direction <laughs> see if that helps. And that's okay. I mean, if it sticks, you can always trim around it with some scissors. Um, I mean, this is... It's all an experiment. Look at that. All right. You're much faster than I am. <laughs> all right. And it's so... And the best part is that you could use these as a placemat. Mm -hmm. You could tape them to a window. You could put some spooky spiders on them. We've got some over here. You can throw on a spider. Oh, cute. See? And then you could put them on, uh, on the windows. You could use them as a table mat or a place mat. On the walls. Um, they're just, there's so many possibilities. It's just a lot of fun. Cool. So thank you for joining us today. Um, if you didn't catch all of the supplies for our festive pumpkins or our spooky spider web, that's perfectly okay. We have tons of stuff in our venture. Mm -hmm. All of the information for our arts and crafts, right? Are all in the venture, or you could just come into Crafty Things and we'll get you all the information you need. And all of this will be in the venture as well, so you can check it out and uh, learn how to do this at home. Have a good time. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.